Hello everybody, so today we're going to be getting in a little extra finger spelling practice, so let's go ahead and practice the basics. Welcome to another finger spelling practice video, and uh, today's video is actually the fourth in the series. If you happen to miss the previous three, uh, I'll go ahead and put them in a link up above, or in a card up above, and then in the description down below. So today I will be going over another three names at three different speeds. The first one's going to be at an advanced speed, the second will be at an intermediate speed, and then the last will be at a beginner speed, so fast, medium, and slow. And if you can, go ahead and uh, pause the video after I sign the, uh, the name, and if you understood it, go ahead and put your answer in the comment section down below. And also really quick, uh, from the last finger spelling practice video I did, uh, I wanna congratulate Zoe Ware. She was the first one to answer all three names uh, correctly down in the comments. So congratulations and keep up the great work. So with that said, let's go ahead and start with the first name. The first name is, again, and one more time. If you understood that name, go ahead and pause the video, type your answer in the comments down below, and when you're finished, we'll move on to the next name. The second name is... Again. And one more time. If you understood that name, go ahead and pause the video and put your answer down in the comments down below. The third name is... Again. And one more time. If you understood that name, feel free to pause the video and put your answer down in the comment section down below. And I do want to highlight a question that I have received in the past, and this is a really valid question because sometimes you will see uh, minor variations on the way things are fingerspelt, or actually the, the hand shapes that are representing a, a letter. And so, uh, like for example, the letter E, you'll commonly see two different ways. So you'll see it like this to where the thumb is all the way across the fingers, and then you'll also see it like this, where there's a gap. And sometimes you'll see uh, different gaps. And this is actually referenced to as like a screaming E versus uh, like a closed E. And the other one is the letters M and N. So you'll see M like this, or you'll see M like this. You'll also see the letter N like this or like this. And really it's a matter of preference. Um, there's not a right or wrong way of signing these letters. It's just a variation that you'll come across. And before you leave, I do want to invite you to a weekly practice session that I'm hosting this Wednesday. Um, many students I find that have a difficult time finding others to practice with, particularly during this quarantine. Uh, many classes are shut down and, and whatnot. So I decided that I'm going to go ahead and try to facilitate um, a place for people to come together and practice what they've been learning. And so if that's something that interests you, uh, feel free to go ahead and click in the link in the description down below. And they're free to join and they uh, include students of all various levels. We have uh, beginners, intermediates, advanced, we have interpreters. And so um, whatever your level is, feel welcome to join us. And those are free that we're hosting on uh, every Wednesday night at 5 p.m. Pacific. And again, if you want some more details on what it is and uh, how to join, I'll leave a link in the description down below. And another thing that I've been offering in the month of April, just to assist with everybody uh, going through this COVID-19 crisis together, is uh, some free one-on-one -on -one sessions. And so if that is something that you're interested in, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Basically, it's a program that helps others uh, overcome various challenges when it comes to learning a new language. And so whether it's you need somebody to practice with or you need a little extra help with vocabulary or grammar, or maybe you just want to accelerate the whole learning process, that's something that we've helped hundreds of students overcome and finally achieve that sign language fluency that they're uh, after. So if you're somebody that is uh, struggling with the language and is just wants to get past the struggles and start communicating, uh, feel free to reach out to us and we would love to meet you. Something else that might be really helpful too, if you're learning a new language, 
that you can actually apply to learning any language is an interview I conducted with Juliana Russell, who's fluent in four languages and is a language teacher herself. And we did a nice long interview going over different uh, ways to approach language learning and really how to accelerate that process and overcome various uh, challenges when it comes to learning a new language. And so I'll go ahead and leave a link for that in the card up above and in the link down the, in the uh, in a link in the description down below. And so um, I guess that's it for today. And until next time, I'll see you later and take care. Bye.